So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard with my current obsession with satin enamels from American Americana Deco Art. I have my little cream pitcher from the church resale shop and a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And what I want to do is add some shovels of paint to a canvas I'm going to prime. But the reason I have the cream pitcher out is because the other day when I used a shovel to pour, I poured from the cream pitcher into the shovels and the cells I got blew my mind. I thought they were just gorgeous. Now I'm going to have to go shopping this afternoon to get some more of this new addiction because after two and a half days and ten paintings later, I'm running kind of low. I'm going to try and use colors that I like. I'd like to have Oh, that come out of there right now. That's the first tip I've had plug up on me today. And, oh, okay, I guess we're not using any more of that than that. And I'm going to use a little bit less of the deco, excuse me, yeah, of this white satin enamel. I'm going to try and line up my colors together like in that color yellow near this color orangey yellow. Oh, come on. <laughs> I cleared all these tips earlier. Well, good for me. I have little spoons. So I'm just going to drop that in there so it doesn't go directly to the bottom. And I am going to poke the tip out of that so I can use it if I need to. Again, please come out. Anyway, so I think that deserves a little more copper right there. Whoops, that was a little more than I was expecting. I'm going to throw some of this color shift from Folk Art that's an orange that I never use in because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link. Under Show More, under the video. Actually, that's book one. The second volume has just come out. I am, oh, a little frustrated by, hey, I got something that'll come out. And let me put some more white in there. I want some purple. Can I have some? Almost out of that. Oh, come, 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 come. Please come. Yes, lots more. No, not much more. Oh, yes, some more. Oh, this is exhausting. All right, so what else do I want? I want some regular purple. And I'm going to just keep adding a little bit of the deco art between. And I want some that. And what color am I going to finish with? It looks a lot like, a lot to me, like I am going to have to um, absolutely pour another painting or save my paint for tomorrow. So I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to pick up that orange paint, put it right there. I didn't use any gold and I meant to, so guess what I'm going to do now? I kind of like the last colors in my composition. Come on out. Oh well, it's my last painting of the day. Well, it was the last painting of the day unless I change my mind in a minute. So I'm going to put that aside for right now. I'm going to try and quick like a bunny. Give my canvas a quick coat. That is my artist loft mixed with black latex semi-gloss from Walmart mixed with my pouring recipe which is under the video. What is stopping me? Oh, the spoon is stopping me. That goes in the bucket. I don't need a lot. It's not super hot out here today which makes a difference. The temperature makes a difference. When it's hot the paint dries faster and so when it's cooler like it is right this minute I can use a slightly less heavy layer of paint. But I'm really inclined right at the moment to do something a little different. 
that I wasn't planning on doing. I'm going to try and change my mind again. I still want to do the shovel pour. But I think I'm going to add a little bit of the... Uh, a little bit more of the satin enamel. And I have some nice clean edge catchers left over from 16 by 20 inch pack of value pack of Artist Loft canvases. I am not a spokesperson for Artist Loft, just in case you need to know that. But I do paint a lot making videos for you guys, so I tend to not always use a gallery wrap canvas or what I could use if I were painting for a commission. Commissions get better canvases, for sure. Okay, so now I want to move some of this paint out of my way. Without spilling that paint cup, please. I'm gonna leave the gold nearby, throw my spatula in the bucket, take this out of the way for the moment, bring my shovels over here. Cross your fingers. Got to put that right up there. Oh, I saw a lump go in there. And I'm going to throw some more. Whoops, not much. Maybe I shouldn't have made them all the same. Anyway, so I've got move that skewer out of the way. Hopefully my paints don't spill. Uh, I should have turned that around the other way. So I can grab my little handles and I am going to and I didn't put my deco art Americana down there so I'm going to do that for the next one. just because I can. If this works in some way or another, I'm going to probably do a dustpan pour. I'm not sure it needed to go all the way to the side, except for I like to let my shovel drain its contents down over the edge. Not that it's going to make any difference at this point. I'm going to let those drain into each other. I'm going to try and do that anyway. I kind of want to turn that around without spilling. Oh gosh. Fine. Be that way. So now I have three shovels and I'm going to take <laughs> I keep splotching. It'll probably be pretty cool those little splotches of color. I'm going to be over here for a moment scraping out my shovels into each other so I can reuse the colors, because the colors in there are pretty cool. And throwing them into the bucket, because I have standby shovels. And I can throw more color into the shovel that has the colors left in it, and use it too if I want to. Let's see what I'm inspired to do. I know I'm inspired to move some more colors out of the way so I can tip this thing without an incident. Let me grab, first of all, let me grab those, that, <laughs> let me grab the edge catcher. I don't know what this is going to be like. This is totally an experiment that I wanted to make. I'm going to rock my edge a little bit. And even though it's slippery now, I'm going to throw it back. Ow! I got the corner of the canvas digging into my thumb. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. I do want to put some black along that edge. Because I think that will help me cover and flow the paint down over. have to put a thumbprint in the middle of that side. After I flow this from side to side, I am going to flow it. Oh, I see a lump. I can't 
I'm going to have to remember where that lump is. Yes, it's still there. <laughs> I will find it. So I'm going to rock that canvas again, flow the paint right back over again, keeping an eye on that place where I see. Oh, I know I have I have tweezers in my pocket. Cool. To buy a lump. Now those are kind of cool. I want the same black paint on this edge and that edge. And now I'm contemplating tilting, but I kind of want something else in the middle here. And I am most willing to attempt to drain my shovel and help my cause. I do want to take a spatula. Shovels need to be shorter, I think. And I'm going to take all of my paint right off and put it back and it's still usable. You can see that. I'm take the rest and throw my spatula in the bucket. Now I'm going to try and use my torch really quickly because you, with usual things I get the opportunity very briefly to get cells. Satin enamel is basically a cell producing agent. And this is just fun to experiment with right now. And I know that I can do stuff. Ah. Like add things texture wherever I might happen to want to as long as they'll come out and I've been doing this quite a bit lately this tilting I think I needed a little more paint but I am getting some neat patterns and I like those drips that's really cool <laughs> I love it Okay, so I don't know that I need that edge catcher right there right now and I want my edge covered with paint. I also want to be able to come back up there and add, maybe I'll just take a chance and do it right now, add some black in there. I kind of want more I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm going to try. I'm feeling turquoise. I keep getting called to turquoise, and I think that's a pretty neat idea. I wonder if I can stack them. Chances are good I'm going to make a mess. And I forgot my gloves again. I recommend when you're using the satin enamels. Ooh, the wind almost caught that. Wow. So that is pretty sharp right now for me. I'm liking that a lot. I want, like I said, to put some black paint all along this one edge. in between where the drips came down over, which looks kind of cool, so I'm going to leave those. I don't know how far along we are. i got two minutes left. So I'll start now and I'll tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and people who buy my artwork get automatically entered in the monthly drawing that you can find the examples of the, of the prizes on the, uh, on the video. That's an exhibition video on the last 20 seconds of this video and every one of my videos. Every month I have another selection prizes. I kind of want to take that white paint 
and do something different with it because I can. And since I'm right there, and I can, I'm just going to play a little bit. It's the nature of my nature is to play. So that's kind of different and I want to see what's going to happen. If I swipe, right there, And let everything kind of go a little bit. And I left my bottles in the way. That's a different way to do a composition for sure. And pretty cool. Not sure what else I'm going to do, but um, I think I'm going to continue with my exploits. And my little spiky things. And everything's kind of running, but it's kind of still pretty cool. Trying to figure out what I want over here, and I'm thinking that I've got two minutes left to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, and that is not just that I sell my artwork, but I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, and uh, the paint pouring recipes below the video, along with Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. You can find Facebook groups. Well, that's not going to come out. You can find Facebook groups for uh, students, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fancy Collectors for Fancy Collectors. And I'm going to go ahead and get real fancy just because I can try. I want to go both ways just to see what will happen. So I'm not sure what else I can tell you. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. I really need that. And I have playlists on my channel and if you're looking to make a donation thank you to everybody who has made a donation in the past to keep me painting i really appreciate that um it's a ten dollar minimum to get in the monthly drawing but it's open to anybody who does that and you're automatically entered i just needed something down there to break up the color and draw the eye around I'm not sure that's absolutely everything that I have in mind, but um, I'm really tempted to go over here. You're going to be gone soon, and there's almost 85,000 of you guys, and I'm really happy you're here. And if you want to look on the community board, on my page, on my channel, or on Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation, you will find tomorrow's video. I'm glad I'm going to tip that, because otherwise they'd look like eyeballs. But I like the textures. They're really cool. And I'm almost done. Um, I hope you guys join me again. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I'm sure I forgot all kinds of stuff, like the clothing below the video is mine. and. If you go to uh, Totes Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more, you'll find more of my uh, my stuff that I posted to Fine Art America and Pixels.com. All right, if I go too much further, I'm going to have it's not going to be recognizable. I still want to do something down here. I will see you guys anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.